Good morning, stampers. It's Elizabeth from StampScrapAndMore.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Canada. And it is Saturday, January 20th, 2024. And paper pumpkin. I'm late. I came home on Thursday night and it was on my doorstep, but it was grocery night and I was putting stuff away and then I totally forgot. And then yesterday I worked from home and by the time I was done, I didn't want, like I worked from home in this room and I did not want to stay in this room anymore. I wanted to just like leave. So uh, I got up this morning, grabbed my coffee, uh, washed up, brushed my teeth and everything and then said, okay, let's do Paper Pumpkin. Truth be known, Stampin' Up! has already released the video that goes with this, but I'm gonna do it anyhow. All right, so let's get overhead and uh, let's see what is in the kit. Maybe I'll put one together of everything. I'm just gonna clean some space off on my desk here. I just thought maybe I'll put something together. All right, let's go. Let's get on to what's in the box. So we have a gorgeous grape. We have a stamp set that says love, just a little something for you. And, oh, happy Valentine's Day. We have some uh, leaves, looks like, and with, oh, sorry. I thought, I'm gonna, I thought it said WTF. <laughs> it was like, what? It's okay, it's, it's early in the morning, it's nine o'clock and the coffee hasn't kicked in yet. It says with, not WTF. <laughs> oh my God, Elizabeth here. Oh, maybe I should have gone back to bed. Okay, and so so I guess it's like with love. Yeah, okay, so there, there you go. That's what the with, <laughs> with is for. Okay, and ooh, oh, beautiful. Coordinates with the perennial lavender. There's a dye add-on that will be, that coordinates with January, February, and March paper pumpkin kits. I will post it up here if uh, the add-on is still available, if you wanted to check it out. Okay, instructions, lovely lavender. The colors are Berry Burst, Crushed Curry, Garden Green, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Lost Lagoon, and Pretty Peacock. And here's, here's a close-up of alternate projects and the components. Okay, I have to figure what that's for. Uh, and as always, there are instructions on the cards. So let me, as I'm going, I'm going to build piles. We've got one, two, three, four envelopes with that type of liner and four envelopes with this type of liner. How many cards did it say? It said eight cards, right? Yeah, eight cards. All right. Oh, these are these are beautiful. Uh, you have to see the, you can see, there we go, the foiling on them. One, two, three, four. And these are the tags and they pop out. I do not know, oh, they are, oh, smart. This is used for one of the cards. And then here are the four tags. I'll put the tags in the middle. I'm gonna push this down a little bit so you can see the components as I build them. We have one, two, three, four. Four cards with this pattern and they go, four cards, they go on, oh, so now right, this one goes on that. This goes here. We've got four of these. Oh, beauty, 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 beauty. Uh, oh, I should do them. I'm looking at the picture and the picture has them in the opposite direction. So let me do that. That is better. That's better for me. So my brain doesn't have to think too much at, at nine o'clock in the morning. We have four cards with this base and they are going to go here. Oh, yeah, they go here. Sorry, they go here. We have four of these banners and they go on this one. These are so pretty. You know, uh, 
after Christmas, like everyone gets so excited about making Christmas cards and the and all the detail on the Christmas cards and the really rich colors on the Christmas cards. But when it comes time to for spring, I really do enjoy the spring, the fresh colors. Uh, okay, so these these four go on the tags. So, you know, a lot of people, some people celebrate uh, Valentine's Day. Some people don't celebrate Valentine's Day. I know oftentimes when I hold classes, if it's Valentine cards, because it's so specific, people go, I'm not interested. But if you didn't want to use these for Valentine's, break out an Easter or a birthday stamp set. They would go really easily. And then this goes here. They, it would be pair beautifully with this with this these cards and it doesn't have to be now not maybe manly but but birthday uh, mother's day think of mother's day coming up you know these would be beautiful for mother's day okay these are delicate to pull out i'm going to admit i might fast forward through all of this that's going to go there that's going to go there and that is going to go there That's going to go there, one, that one is going to go there. And you know, it is celebration time. So now if you wanted to, I'm just looking here, that's going to go one, I think one, two. If you wanted to uh, order paper pumpkin, now is the best time because, and we've got love, we've got two loves. Now is the best time because of celebration. So in Canada, for every $60 purchased, you can get um, a celebration item. So if you get paper pumpkin for the uh, six or 12 months, you would be eligible for lots of, pay lots of free items from celebration. So it's just something to think about if you were ever on the fence. All right, I always do my <clears throat> paper pumpkin renewal when it's uh, celebration time that I can get more bang for my buck. And I did, and then these ones go here. That is all the components. I don't know what this is for, guys. Lovely lavender, just a little something. Oh, I know what it's for. Well, thank you, Stampin' Up. That's the uh, background for the stamp. So that tells you what the stamp sets are. And you know what? Ho, oh, hello. Oh, hello, oh, hello. I'm not sure how you store your stamps, but you could easily put them in there like that. And then, I'm just thinking out loud here, you can either, you can uh, tape the bottom and the top, or you can staple it, and then you can file them like this. I hope they continue doing that because I have a box full of uh, these, uh, the paper pumpkin stamps. If they were all like this and you could file them like that in a, in a shoe box or something. Okay, now I understand what that's for. So the add-on pieces that come with it are linen thread, dimensionals, and glue dots. You know me, I, I use my um, Stampin' Seal Plus the glue dots I save for another time. So I'm going to take the tag and the sentiment, the banner, and it is, mm, we're going to be using just a, li just a little something for you. And I'm also going to gorgeous grape. I'm going to bring out my ink, my ink pad. And just a little, okay, just a little something for you. And I will fast forward through this, but I'm going to uh, stamp the other. Okay, so 
so now come back to here we have this uh, we stamp this I need 12 inches of the linen thread da, 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 da. stamp they've given you the measurements on the instructions on the on this and I'm gonna put this through like that well you know what I really like I really like the idea of this and you can get those cellophane bags, put some bath bombs, lavender cookies. I've even seen lavender cookies. That would be really pretty. And blue dots on the back. And this is going to go like that. But I'm going to do something different. I'm going to use my Tombow glue. Okay. Like that. There's a little piece to here that needs to be pulled off. There we go. And then two dimensionals. Two dimensionals. And then Bob's your uncle. Myrtle's your aunt. And there's the tag. There's the tag. Oh, that's cute. It's really simple, folks. Really, really simple. And if you wanted to, if you had gems, you could bling it, tack it up a bit by putting some uh, gems on it. But it would be great packaging for, I will not be using these for Valentine's Day, but, and I won't use the Valentine's sentiment, but I will use it for a Mother's Day or thinking of you or birthday. So that's, um, that's the tag. Let me put that aside here like that. Okay, tag done. So let's get to this card. This is so pretty. And it's nice, it's a nice quality, nice weight, I should say, nice weight. And this layer, I like how they did that. This layer is going to get popped up. Okay, so now what they've done is they have taken this and this. And this is going, this is first, so they've put glue dots, and I'm just going to use my Tombow glue. It either comes out too much or nothing. I'm going to put the Tombow glue on there, and uh, I'm going to put some Tombow glue on here. This is going to go on top of there like that. And then this is going to get tucked under here like that. And the trick is to angle it so that it doesn't go over the edge here or go up too high here, but that this is below. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? So that's the card. I really like this. Okay, I think this would be a beautiful Mother's Day card. I'm just, I'm just putting it out there. I want to do with the dimensionals. Oh, hello, Elizabeth. Okay, so I'm going to use dimensionals that I have already opened. Here we go. I have a tutorial on how to make this the dimensional box. I'll link it here if you're interested. It's cute. I'm, I need to make a new one with new product. Okay, so now I digress. So now I am going to put dimensionals on this piece here. Uh, like that. Make sure you get them on the sides because you don't want this flapping in the wind. I'm going to put one down here like that. And I think that's good. Now the trick is to, this is an, an exact match one on top of the other, right? Exact match. So I'm going to pull off all the dimensional backings and then I'm going to uh, align the bottom edge, the bottom left hand corner, You can, or it can be the bottom right hand corner, whatever works best for you. So I'm going to square this up. I'm going to align the bottom, bottom edge and the left hand corner 
and make sure and now I'm going to make sure the right corner and then I'm going to lay this down matching up the edges and then by the time you get to the top you should be good to go actually isn't that real that's it's actually beautiful it's really really pretty and oh okay so now the sentiment says happy valentine's day i am not going to be doing a valentine's i'm going to pause this i'm going to find something uh, like a happy birthday and i'm going to use that i'm going to pause one second actually i didn't have to go far because i have a bunch of stamps on my desk a new product so i'm going to say enjoy your day and it's pretty generic and I think that would work fine. I, I don't want to use the Happy Valentine's Day. I looked at the perennial postage. Uh, um, so this is from Thoughtful Expressions. I looked at perennial postage. And, you know, you could use thank you for your friendship. Uh, here for you all. No, nope, you can't use that because always is really large. You're simply, nope, can't use simply marvelous. I know you'll get through this. I didn't want to use that. Uh, yeah hooray you are simply amazing you could use that from hooray for surprises so I am sure that you have stamps at home if you did not want to use Valentine's that you can use but this just happened to be on my desk enjoy your day the other two cards I make up I may put a totally different sentiment on it just so you know so that I have a variety enjoy your day now we're taking 12 inches again of the Baker's, I'm not Baker's twine, linen thread. And we are going to, I always struggle with this. I don't know if anybody else does. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of glue down here. And just do a figure eight. Or you can tie a knot if you want. And then this is going to get popped up. I, um, this is going to get popped up. Let me see. Across the front like this. So you know what? I'm going to put one on this end and one on the other end. This is empty. Like that. Like, I have it down lower. Oh, didn't pull off that edge. There we go. You can barely even see the linen thread. Just give you a wisp there like that and there's the card it's really pretty actually if I was going to do this again I'm totally taking that out I'm just going to make a bow knot and pull it left right and I may put it up at the top there I'm going to use a glue dot need to I'm going to put it right on, right on the edge here. And when I do the uh, add an embellishment like this, I used to, I like to put two glue dots on it. Just so that sucker doesn't go anywhere. There we go. So there's the first card. There we go. But it's a beautiful card. I really like it. You can see... The foiling here on the edge it just adds that little bit of bling and then you open it up and so enjoy your day. So if you do not want to use Valentine's, you don't have to. And then the last card is this one. And it sits like this. And on here, we are going to stamp this floral. And this could be, it doesn't, I'm not putting Valentine's, but it's got the word love. So with love, you know, it could be with love, I'm thinking of you, with love, happy birthday, 
with love on your wedding. Uh, it can be a multitude of with love. And we're going to do that like this. Purdy. And I think that's, uh, oh yes, and the with. We've got this little tiny with here. And with, or as I first thought, WTF. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth. Um, it's tiny, that's why I, I couldn't see it. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put that away before I, I'm wearing it. And we are going to, this is going to get popped up. Uh, popped up, popped up, popped up, popped up. Yeah, one, two, one in the middle. So there's no saggy bottoms. And I'm, I'm, I have a free weekend, but I have a class next weekend uh, with the notes of nature. So when I'm done here, I'm going to finish prepping for that class, send out the final information for it, and all of the product arrives on Tuesday. So I'm very excited. I love the Notes of Nature stamps, the bundle. Okay, so now we have, these are, we have one, two, I think there's different sizes. Yes, there's two different sizes. There's a large one and a small one. And we've got leaves, like this, like that. So we, on the bottom of the leaves, I'm gonna put a little bit of Tombow glue, or, yeah, um, adhesive dot. You know, I might be better off with the adhesive dots only because Tombow glue is not playing nice today. And I'm putting, them, I'm not putting them on all, but um, just on str strategic spots. And then this is going to go like that. And then we're going to uh, layer that one's going to go up like that like that I like it because it's going to go over the edge too a little bit and I didn't don't put glue right at the very very tip and then this one is going to go like that Okay, another 12 inches of the linen thread. I started with a really clean workspace, folks. One of these days I'm going to show you the before I, the video and after the video. Okay, a little, little bow knot here. And they have just tucked it like this. And I'm just going to put some Tombow glue because I think the sentiment is just going to go over it like that. You can use a glue dot. Okay, like that. Now I have this and the love like this. The love, uh, it's going to get glue dots. If you're going to put glue dots, don't put them on the up, upper part of the L. You just need to put it on the lower part. I'm going to put glue dot, uh, it, sorry. Tom, I'm going to put Tombow tombo glue along the bottom. And then line that up with my grid paper. Sometimes I talk to myself. Anyone else talk to themselves when they craft? And then with, and I am going to pop this up like this, half a dimensional, or if you want to do a little one. I actually have these left over from a past project. So I'm going to use this. Or use half a dimensional, because you don't, you're going to uh, put it so that it's partially over the edge, like With love. Like 
that. And then this, oh, is that pretty? Is going to get popped up. How is, there we go. Um, this, then this is going to get popped up like that. And it is popped up, right? Yep, it's going to get popped up like that. Oh, I like, I like, I like. Now, if this is, this is going to straddle this, so don't put dimensionals on the very end. And so one, two, and then three. This is really pretty. I like this. Again, this does not scream Happy Valentine's Day. This can be with love. Like I said, thinking of you with love on Mother's Day when you get to the inside of it, you can uh, put whatever sentiment your little heart desires on there. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So those are the projects. That's one. That's two. And that is three. Those are the projects and not straight. <laughs> so, so let me just fix this because I just looked at it and went, oh, Lordy B, this is not straight. Let me move this up just a little bit. There we go. That's better. Maybe the sentiment's not straight. Whatever. Here we go. There are the three projects, and I'm not going to be using them for Mother uh, for Valentine's Day, but I'll use them for thinking of you, or when I get an order, I send a thank you card and I leave it blank, so I might just do that and use those for that. All right. Wow, that was convoluted. I still have my coffee. I'm not finished it yet. So so thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy your day. Uh, this is Saturday, January 20th, and I'll post this today, but I do have a tutorial coming up tomorrow, uh, and it is using, again, the Hills of Tuscany. So I did a presentation last weekend, and I posted that video, and in it I said, here's this little piece of paper uh, that I used as a cutoff, don't throw that away because we're going to, I'm going to create another card. Well, that's the card that's going to post tomorrow. All right. So I hope you tune into that. I appreciate you uh, following me and leaving comments. And I appreciate everything that you do. Take care, happy stamping, and we will talk to you again later.